This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, hopefully you're okay. Uh, my name is Luke C and I am in my HGV and we're on our way down to Devon and Cornwall. Um, we are actually going to Turo, so that's Cornwall, isn't it, I think. Uh, TR3 6PQ. Ironically, 6PQ used to be the end of my postcode where I used to live, so that was quite funny. Uh, yes, we're going to uh, a place called Deveron Metals. Deveron Metals. We've got a load of rebar on. We got it loaded yesterday from Liverpool. And uh, we, we drove sort of most of the way down. We got to Sedgemoor Services on the M5, um, parked up on a nine hour drive yesterday. And then um, we actually were on like eight hours and 50 minutes, something like that. And then we've started this morning and we are now heading, it's a three hour drive down south. The sun is starting to rise. It's half past seven in the morning now. We've already been driving for a couple of hours. So we, had, we were on the road at half past five this morning. So relatively early. Um, and we're still an hour away, so we are due there just before half past eight. Now, I did phone the company up yesterday and they said don't turn up before half past eight because we don't open until half past eight. So, we should be turning up pretty much on time, if not maybe a little bit before. Satnav actually says 8.25 is the ETA. So, we're five minutes in hand. So, yes, we've got a load of rebar on. Uh, it's 25 millimeter rebar in terms of thickness and then it's I think it was 14 meters long so it's an overhang on the trailer as well so we are we are quite long but we're less than a meter on the uh, on the back end which means no signage no beacons no nothing has to be uh, has to be displayed so that's good um, and yeah I'm gonna go grab go get this taken off at, uh, at Devonian Metals wherever it's called I think it's, it's like Devoran De Devonran Devonran Metals something like that I don't know uh, I looked at the place and it looks like it looks like we'll be reversing in off the road, uh, but could potentially be driving and then reversing out. I'm not sure. I think I'd rather reverse in because then it'd be on a good side. So yeah, man, uh, we're going to crack on down there. By the way, sorry if I sound a little bit ill. Uh, I've actually not recorded any videos for a couple of weeks. Um, I've got a bank of videos at home. Um, so like the last one I uploaded, for example was uh, on the weekend but I actually recorded it like two weeks ago that's how far ahead I am in, in terms of time at the moment but for the last week I've not actually been recording because I feel a bit bunged up and just a little bit just a little bit ill really so I've been <laughs> I've been using those bank of videos to sort of cover me while while I'm ill so but I can, I can be bothered to record today I feel a little bit better so that's what we're going to do anyway the sun is rising uh, next time you see me it should be a lot brighter outside and uh, we should be just around the corner from the delivery point. I shall see you there. Well, when I woke up, she was looking at me. She told me I've been cheating on her in her dream. Lord, it wasn't a thing I could do or say. Right, you join me the other side of Turo. Is that how you pronounce it, Turo? Uh, we're just on the A39 now. Got to be careful because uh, just tapped a branch just now on the on the roof. So we've got to be careful of these trees on the left hand side. Make sure we're not hitting anything too big. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're a couple of miles away now from the delivery point, so we're nearly there. We're on the home stretch now. When we, when we left this morning from where we parked up at Sedgemoor Services, the sign said we would be there quarter past eight. So that's 15 minutes um, before they actually open. So bang tidy, yeah? But got caught in a bit of traffic. I think the last time I spoke to you, the sign nav said it was 8.25. And uh, anyway, now the ETA is 8.47. <laughs> we have been caught in a lot of traffic, uh, particularly on the A30. Hello. Um, someone just recognised me. Particularly on the A30, just before Turo, there's like roadworks, and it goes from two lanes into one. 
and also there's traffic from the left joining as well so it's almost like three lanes into one i got caught in a lot of traffic there a lot of traffic um so that's held us up quite a bit this morning but um never mind not a lot we can do about that now so yeah this place we're delivering to uh it looks like they will offload me within within the building itself i think the cab would be outside the building but the trailer be inside um, so I, I do suspect we will be reversing in. It looks like we could drive in, as I mentioned earlier, but it'd have to be reversed back out again on the blind side. So I think it'd be easier if we just reverse in. But I will pull up and obviously I'll go in and ask them how they want me in. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Obviously we've got to do the unstrapping as well. And all the bearers on the trailer actually belong with this trailer. And um, basically they're, they're situated right at the bottom of the trailer box. So I've got to take everything out of the trailer box to put the timber in. To then to put everything else back on top so once we are unloaded um i've got to deal with uh with all the timber as well uh which reminds me i need to tell them i need to keep the timber because the timber is ours normally when i do this um we get given the timber and the, when we do the delivery they keep the timber um so i need to make them aware that it's actually my timber and i need to keep it on the trailer so hopefully they don't nick it got, uh, got a few vehicles coming can we go now yes we can car on the inside um, so yeah whoever that was who just honked me back there nice to see you uh, I've been flashed a few times on the way down to Devon this morning quite a few times slowing down for this roundabout and this car's just nipped in front which mean, meant I had to brake a little bit harder using the engine brake to slow down but I'm sort of trying to stay behind a white car and then the blue car sort of cut in so you've got to bear that in mind when slowing down sometimes Right, we're going to go left at this roundabout. We are pretty much here. Although I think the sat now thinks it's earlier than it actually is. Now we are sort of going into a housing estate, I think. I'm not sure how wide the roads are. We need to go right and then left. Let me out. Round here, and then it's just on the right hand side. I don't know, yeah. The road is a little bit narrow. So we're going to have to put our hazards on. Because, uh, like I said, I need to pull up and go and have a word with him inside. a little bit further down. We put our old beacons on. Yeah, it's just here on the uh, on the right hand side. Got to be careful because we'll be blocking someone's drive here on the left. Doesn't look like they're going to come out until I've seen. Oh, there's a truck in there as well. There's a truck in there. sounds happy yeah there's a truck in there that beeper by the way is to say that my vehicle is quite close to the left there's a truck already in there mm, I don't know how long he's going to be I've got to be careful not to be uh, blocking the drive behind me we'll just do this we'll let them know we're here and uh, we'll go from there see you in a bit right I think the truck behind me is reversing in I think I've just been told to go down and take the next right Apparently there's another turning. So, I've never been here before, so I go scope it out first. I did have a look on Google Maps yesterday, last night, but it looked like, well, I saw that basically, it looked like a different company, so I didn't think um, that I'd go down here, but he just said, take the next right, so we're going there, at least then we'll be off the road. Yeah, so there's the truck. So we just parked up on the left, let the vehicles pass. Let's go and um, drive in and see where they want us. Oh yeah, so that's what that beeping was. So it's basically telling me, you know, I'm quite close to the left. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, can't get much further to the left. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we're inside, look. 
they're going to offload us uh, from inside here. You just said just drive up to the bearings that I have. Um, so let's go and get it all unstrapped. It's all uh, obviously done up this side, look. Oh, I just realised I'm still uh, still wearing the microphone. Right, so yeah, we can start, start unstrapping. By the way, it is about four degrees outside. You know, you can see your breath. But it's still warm enough for shorts. Still warm enough for shorts. <laughs> Okay, straps are off and um, they've started to uh, take some off as well. No one here is wearing a hard hat, so I'm not wearing one before anyone says anything. Um, oh, bloody hell, he's taken off. He's taken off quite a few with that first one, so looks like only four lifts, it'll all be done. So that's good. Anyway, this particular trailer has its own timber, like I said, so um, we need to now make room in the trailer box for the timber to go back in. Basically, it's wedged in here, so. Uh, Yep, let's uh, make some room for the timber. Right, that's all the short timber ready to go. Uh, all the long timbers are still underneath uh, the rebar. Basically, these, they go the entire length and they need to be at the bottom. So everything is currently out. So we can uh, start relayering it. The net's over there on the back of the, uh, the catwalk. And um, yeah. He has to come back over in a minute, take the rest off, so we'll close that back up. They should be right there. And then we've got corner boards down here. And uh, like I said, those timbers go all the way down there. So we need to completely put the long ones in, do the floor in, so to speak. And then we can start putting the short timbers on that side, put uh, the corner boards on this side, and then whack the net in wherever there's most room. Hopefully the other side still, but it don't really matter. Now, where I'm going from here, I don't actually know. I haven't even messaged the boss yet. Um, but I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna send him a message now because if, if they carry on at their current speed, I reckon half an hour will be out of here and we've only been here half an hour as well, pretty much. It's been quite a quick tip so far. Things have uh, slowed down a little bit. Um, don't know what's going on, not that bothered. Um, still got two more lifts to do. The top, the top tier's been done. I think he's just about to do um, the bottom tier now on the other side, so that's good. And I've also just found out where we're going from here. We're going back to Chep in Swindon. It's a good four hour drive away at least, at least. Now luckily, I've just um, just done a photo shoot for Tom Tom. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit mad. So my Tom Tom is actually just here. Um, Tom Tom asked me to send me some pictures of um of myself with with the tom tom in hand so what we can do while it's here is um see how far away it is it'd be easier if i weren't wearing gloves so drive Ooh, four hours five minutes that's a long way to go empty it's um it's pretty normal around christmas time work like this sort of dies off and you have to get the scraps it's um it's perfectly normal around winter time. Um, but yeah, never mind, what can you do about it? I don't know where it's going from Chep or even how long we're gonna be there. Actually, last time I went to Chep, I know it's got a bad reputation on my channel, but um, the last time I went there, I was in and out in 40 minutes. So fingers crossed it's the same. Um, we, are, we are gonna have to get a break on the way up. Um, so we probably won't be there until like half past two, something like that, so I'm just looking at the sat nav. Half past two, three o'clock. Um, similar to that, so hopefully it's a case of getting loaded and then go back to the yard, that'd be nice, and then we'll carry on the video um, tomorrow. But um, you've just taken off one, you might have just seen them go past. So one more lift and then we can put the rest of the timber away. Let's go and take a look at it. There you go, so there was three um, lengths, I guess you call them, on this side. There's three left now on this side. So once he takes them off, I can uh, put all the timbers away. Because um, like I said, these are the long ones that go all the way across the body and I need to put them in first. So um, they fill up the space first basically, make it nice and tidy as possible. Last one coming off now. So um, we can go do the timber now. 
because uh, the trailer bed is now clear, as you can see. Yeah, I think it's a little bit snug, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Lift that mid lift axle up. Yeah, easy enough. Easy. Cheers, mate. Just like that, man. Lovely, isn't it? So I guess now we're going to get that lorry in, and then we'll um, we can drive out. Right, let's take this high vis off. Oh. So yeah, I need to stop on the way up to Swindon. Um, probably we'll need to get some fuel as well, as well. Um, that lorry driver just asked when I was going out. Yes, we are. We are going in. So um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't too bad that tip. I mean, we got here at um, quarter nine in the end because of traffic and it's just gone 10 now so an hour 15 minutes cheers mate here looking an hour 15 minutes for rebar is actually pretty good because normally they come off individually um now he was actually taking them off very quickly oh, they flashed me out thank you very much um, yeah, they were actually uh, offloading it very quickly. Like they were doing three bundles at a time, which was you know a quarter of the load at a time. So four lifts and it was done. Um, but it just took a little bit of time in between each lift. That's what um, what delayed it and took an hour. That's what made it take an hour basically. Otherwise, it could have genuinely have been done in like half an hour easy if they just ploughed on with it. But obviously they had other stuff to do as well. So that's fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. So um, yeah, man, we got a four-hour drive. Yeah, so we're um, we head back um, towards Swindon now. We're like we're on three hours and twenty minutes of driving, and it's over four hours there. So by the time we even get to check, we're going to be very close to seven uh, seven and a half hours driving, which means we can only do an hour and a half from Chep. So we ain't going to get very far from Chep. That's, that's for sure. I would imagine it, it'd be back to the yard. I would imagine, I don't know. We'll have to see on that one. We'll have to see. Anyway, lots and lots of miles to cover. I may or may not have included a time lapse in this video. I've not done it in ages. I used to do them all the time, but then so did every other vlogger, so I stopped doing them. Now, I'll be honest, I don't watch any other vloggers, so I don't know if anyone does them or not still, but um, it's been ages since I've done them, so I may have included a time lapse on the way down, and I will probably include one on the way back as well so just just shows you the driving i'm doing in those uh, in those four hours doesn't it so yes let's crack on i'll see you shortly she told me that things was gonna change if i wanted her i couldn't stay the same so i stopped going down on friday nights i stopped drinking with the boys yeah everything she has i left in the past just to try to bring her joy For the record, it can't be understated All I've been domesticated She told me to top off her cheek The one I bought her when I sold my old GT And I bumped in Good friend, and he asked me where the hell had I been. So I told him what she told me. If I didn't change, she was gonna leave. So I stopped going down Friday 
drinking with the boys. Everything she asked, I left in the past, just to try to bring her joy. For the record, it can't be understated. Lord, I've been domesticated. Lord, I've been domesticated. Right, we are still on the A30. Um, we're still a good sort of two and a half hours away from Jeb. But um, I just wanted to talk to you real briefly. I got a message the other day from a bloke called Will. And, um, well, actually, I'll tell a lie. He sent me a message a few years ago. Um, I think it was like 2020. Um, but then he sent me another message this year. And I sort of reread the message he left me in the past. And he asked for a shout out for his brother. His brother who lives in uh, assisted living and is in a wheelchair and he said he's a big big fan of my channel and his name is Daniel so um, I just wanted to leave you know this quick segment in the video to say thank you very much Daniel for watching I really do appreciate it, it does mean a lot and uh, your brother Will here has um, you know told me how much of a fan you are of my channel so I appreciate that mate I really do apparently you live near Kettering so yeah thank you very much I really I really really do appreciate it and also um, how it come about is um, obviously I got my boots that I wear it's from Big Boots um, UK I think there's a link in the description down below Big Boots I swear by them they gave the first pair out to me for free and the second pair actually third pair I had to, buy, I had to pay for myself but um, I, I still willingly paid for it myself out of my own money and I do genuinely recommend them I actually I really love the zips on them and for me leaving my boots on my steps it makes it ideal to slip them on and slip them off um, so Big Boots UK link in the description down below I'm sure there is and will um daniel's brother actually asked me about the boots and uh, i was like yeah they're, they're actually really comfortable and he's he's confirmed that they are comfortable um but that's when i saw up above uh, that he'd left a message about asking for a shout out for his brother daniel so i'm really 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 sorry it's come so late um and i do appreciate you still watching me after all this time it really does really does mean a lot so thank you very much anyway uh we are gonna crack on to swindon i will see you when we're there Hello, we're in chat. So yeah, we're just doing up the pallets. Um, we have been here for about an hour, so not too bad actually. Definitely uh, been here for longer. Yeah, so we got caught in a bit of traffic, uh, but luckily we come off a Junction 17 and um, we uh, went Brinkworth way. Well, and I say we got caught in traffic, we didn't get caught in traffic. We would have if we carried on the M4. Um, there's a point where if you take the Brinkworth road, you go under the M4 and you can see all the traffic and it was just, it was standstill. So uh, yeah, I saved a good 45 minutes by going the back way. That's when uh, knowing the local roads come in handy. Uh, but yeah, we're just strapping up now. We've got 520 pallets on. And this is going to Stonehouse uh, in the morning. So we'll be home tonight, which is good. Yeah, I just checked on uh, on Google timeline. It tells me exactly when I got to places. I got it at 10 to three. It's 10 to four now. So only an hour, which um, is actually incredibly good. When I turned up, there were about three trucks in front of me. So, um, you normally say uh, 20 minutes per truck. So, actually, actually, they've done it quite quick. Got a bit of a move, hang on this one. Tuck that in there. Lovely. She's done up tight. It's the customary saying, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> so we'll just check it all now from this side. It's all done up, look, as you can see. God, they're so hot, you can't even make it wide angle, look. 20 high, so we'll put ourselves down as 4.7 meters. That's what I normally do, 4.8 to be safe. But um, where this is going, there's no bridges anyway, so we are totally safe. That's closed, put our gloves away.
There you go. Now we uh, just need to go grab our paperwork. And then we can get out of here. We'll be back in the yard. Um, quarter past four or something like that. Be home before five. Right, paperwork. We've got to hurry up because there's a truck behind me. Waiting to leave. I think, well, he's either waiting to leave or he's waiting to get into my... Where I'm parked, one or the other. And he was just about to leave and then he said, ask me if I'm leaving. So I'm wondering if he's just um, wanted to take a wider, a wider exit, like me. Anyway, I can get there. Don't think he's coming out. Hive is off. Seatbelt on before we get on the main road. Clear left, clear right. You've got to be careful coming out of here because there's a Ferrari garage just down the road. And uh, I've definitely seen Ferraris bomb it down here. And uh, if they come too quick round there, and all of a sudden we're coming out, well, I don't need to tell you what might happen. <laughs> I'd really rather not write off a Ferrari, or any car, really. So, um, he is. So, um, is that JK Transport? That's, uh, if that's Kev, that's my old boss. <laughs> Hello, Kev, if you're watching. Um, nice MAN, that, actually, to be fair. Very nice. Very nice MAN. Um, so, I don't know which way to go. We can go back to the yard via the M4, but I don't know whether the traffic is there or we can cut through town. I'm edging towards cutting through town, to be honest, because it's four o'clock. If it was any later, I probably wouldn't. We'd be there in 15 minutes if we cut through town. Uh, see, this might be a mistake already, look, trying to get out of here. Oh no, we can go, we can go, we can go. We can go, we can go. There's a car there with either a learner sticker on or a dress pass and they t <laughs> they momentarily paused and it was enough for me to get out. Thank you very much. Now we've got a red light coming up up ahead. <coughs> yeah, so I think I mentioned earlier, I'm, I've been a bit ill recently. I'm not entirely sure if it was been COVID, to be honest with you. I actually have lost my sense of smell. And that happened last time when I did have COVID. But obviously, as far as I'm aware, there's no regulations in place now where you can't go to work or socialise or anything like that. So I just try and keep my distance from people. But I'm not feeling 100%, which I'm not. But I'm well enough to work. It's just it's just a cough and um, blocked nose, really. Stuffed up. Stuffed up news. Oh, I just thought something I do need to do, actually, when I'm back in the yard. Assuming I'm the only one now, I need to get AdBlue. Um, I had a full tank of AdBlue, and it's pretty much, well, I've got 25% left. Now, I've still got a couple of cartons left, which will, you know, last an, an extra couple of days. But <laughs> it's only Tuesday, so I will run out Thursday. So I need to... Come on, mate. Off you go. So I do need to just fill up now, and then if I run out Wednesday or Thursday, I can use the cartons. Um, basically what happened is uh, Monday I started from Swindon went all the way up to Warrington which was about four hours nipped over to Liverpool which is about an hour so I was on five hours then then we drove all the way down to Sedgemoor which took me to nine hours in total and then all the driving we've done today as well what are we actually on? we've got to be on yeah we're on 7.46 so I mean when we get, by the time we get back to the yard we've been on just over eight hours so we've still got like an hour to use and then another hour to use if we wanted to use the 10. But, um, yeah, basically, nine hours and eight hours. So what's that? That's 17 hours driving in two days. So um, it's not maximum. Obviously, you can do 20 hours if you really want to, legally. But 17 hours is just, it's drunk me out, Blue Man. And I've been fully loaded the entire time, pretty much. Except for on the way back from... Where I've just been <laughs> so maybe not the entire time four hours I wasn't fully loaded so what's that 14 13 hours fully loaded yes drunk drunk the ad blue it has so we need to fill up okay I admit it I made the mistake I shouldn't have gone through town <laughs> now Mike we're only two and a half miles away from the yard so even if it takes half an hour, it's still an early finish, isn't it? So, 
we're just slowly make our way back slowly current ETA is quarter past four so we will see if it <laughs> eases up or not but I don't know right back in the yard filled it with ad blue um, well I put two 10 litres in so 20 litres in total that'll be enough to last a couple of days till Thursday and then I've got another two more cartons which I can use um, if I need it basically for uh, for Thursday and Friday so I mean normally 10 litres we use about 10 litres a day so I'll just put 20 litres in so it should last Wednesday Thursday and then I'll top up and put another carton in for Friday or I could put both cartons in and then I will definitely have enough but um yeah man that's it for today I will record tomorrow I think uh, when we do the delivery and then I'll say bye to you in the morning so bye bye Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. It's one degree Celsius out. <sighs> That's chilly. I'm still in shorts. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that, but there's sirens going off. Um, a fire engine come out of the firehouse just as, just around the corner, and it headed towards where we're going. So I'm hoping there's no fire, but we'll see when we get going. Um, so yeah, we've got to go to Stonehouse. Let's go get the truck warmed up and crack on. Okay, there she is. She's got the pallets on. Press the button on the uh, key fob and turn the lights on. There we go. There she is. I turn that light. Whenever I turn the ignition on or whatever, or do the light test, my Luke C sign flashes. I need to put it back to blue when I get in. So yeah, we're going to check all the truck round and then um, get the truck warmed up as well. And, um, and I'm going to crack on. I will see you when we get to Stonehouse. See you in a bit. Okay, we're here in Stonehouse now. We're just taking off all the ratchets. And uh, then we can take all the straps off as well. Yeah, so we're just taking the, uh, the straps off now. The straps are frozen. <laughs> Some of them are frozen, they all got all frost on them in there. A little bit harder to do up. But uh, like I said earlier, <laughs> still shorts weather, it's still summer. Still summer, mate. Um, so yeah, and then once I'm done from here, I've got to go back to the sawmill, get loaded for Wrexham, tip, reload the same place, and then go to Bridge End. So that's what I'm doing today. We won't be in this video, uh, might be in the next one. So keep an eye out for that one. Anyway, that is going to be it for me. That is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. See, this one is a bit frozen, but doesn't quite do up. It's tight. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, and also, I've got a second channel. It's called More Luke C. So feel free to go check that beauty out. The whole concept of that one is that it's nothing to do with HTVs. Um, it's stuff that I do outside of driving HGVs. So on my computer, in my office, what I purchase, you know, where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna eat, things like that could be on it. So if you want more Luke C, go and watch more Luke C. I will leave a link in the description down below. It's only got 2,000 subscribers, so let's try and, let's try and get it up a little bit, yeah? <laughs> Thanks for watching, until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I see you soon. Bye.